Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and read his question if he's not here. Okay, uh, my 10-year-old son has a few questions in, in hopes to submit, one for Mr. Cullen. And the one we've selected is, how did you come up with the original voice for Optimus Prime? It's a story that I've told many times, and maybe some of you have heard it, but it's a story very dear to me, and it's the truth, and it happened. My brother Larry, a captain in the Marine Corps, had returned from Vietnam. He was a decorated uh, Marine, and uh, the uh, Bronze Star with V and a couple of Purple Hearts. And we were sharing an apartment, going through a difficult time in my life, when Larry came down, and it was about 1984, and we were, as I said, living in an apartment together. And he would always uh, take a little interest in where I was going every day, because I, I was a, well, a grunt, as the Marines would say. You know, if you're a ground trooper, you're a grunt. Anyway, Larry's uh, 13 months older, five inches taller. And, uh, but we're 13 months apart, we were very, very close. So he said, Peter, where are you going today? He said, well, Lar uh, what, you need the car? He said, no, no, I just uh, want to know where you're going. I said, I'm going to audition. I'm going to be, um, I'm auditioning uh, as a truck. And he, said, <laughs> he did the same thing. And so I, I said, but Larry, he's a, uh, Evidently, he's a hero truck. He's a real, I mean, he's a hero. And his face got somber, and he said, Peter, if you're going to be a hero, be a real hero. Don't be a Hollywood hero type with all the BS and all the yelling and screaming and trying to be tough. Be strong enough to be gentle. Well, okay, Lar, yeah. So as his voice is ringing in my ears as I'm driving to the audition, and I read the copy, and Larry is just coming out, his voice, the way he talked to me. And it said, you know, I'm Optimus Prime. <laughs> no, it was, my name is Optimus Prime. And the softness in his advisory tone was, was significant. And so I, uh, the words just rolled off my tongue. I'm from the planet Cybertron. And blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I, I kind of finished it and said, and said, OK, thank you very much, uh, Peter. OK. So, oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> So, well, I, I walked out and uh, getting into the car and I said, I wish Larry had been here. I, I think he would have been proud of me because I think I nailed it. I really think I've nailed the character because it was just Larry. And two weeks later, my agent called me up and said, oh, Peter, remember that Transformers thing in the truck? And he said, yeah. He said, you got the part of Optimus Prime. I said, I do? He says, ah, yeah, and you also have another part called Ironhide? What, 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 what's this Ironhide? I said, <laughs> so, so that was the beginning. That was the launch. Did that answer the question, do you think? I, I think it answered the question. <laughs> Can you do a little Ironhide? Ah, oh, gee whiz, Prime. Calm down, Ironhide. I just want to kick some butt, Prime. <laughs> Not now. Not now, Ironhide. Later. Much later. <laughs>